five tips on how to get more reviews and referrals coming up. So reviews and referrals are extremely powerful for a small business. The more reviews you get and the more referrals you get, obviously the more sales you get. It's just a trend that you always see. But how can you kill two birds with one stone and actually get more reviews and referrals at the same time with the same effort? Tip number one is you need a good email marketing platform that allows you to send automated emails in a journey format. So if you don't have that, make sure to find one that's gonna work for you. Marketing 360 has a great product called Nurture that allows you to do these things, but essentially what you need is the ability to create a series of emails that you can upload a list of customers to and it will just automatically send that series of emails. That's what you need, so that's step one. Step two, once you've set up your email tool, is to set up the first email in the series. So the first email in the series is gonna be asking for a review. That email should be pretty simple. Just say something like, hey, thank you very much for your business. We would really appreciate it if you'd take a second and give us your feedback. And just below that, you just want two simple buttons. One's a thumbs up and one's a thumbs down. If they click thumbs up, you wanna ask for a review, so you'll send them to the review platform of your choice. So maybe that's a Google reviews, or top rated local reviews, or Facebook reviews. Whatever makes more sense for your business, make that where that thumbs up goes so they can instantly, quickly leave a review. On the thumbs down, you're gonna to wanna to send them to a feedback form on your website that allows you to capture additional information so that you fully understand why they didn't have a good experience, so that A, you can reach back out to them and try to improve their experience, or B, you can actually use the feedback to improve as a company overall moving forward. So that's email number one. Tip three, after the initial email, if they had clicked thumbs up, you want to assume that they went ahead and they left a good review for you. And so therefore, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to follow up those people that clicked the thumbs up with an email for a referral. So you're going to want to wait two or three days before you send this, but you're going to want a referral email to say something like, hey, once again, we really appreciate your business. Thank you very much. If you have anybody else that you know that might be interested in our products or services, we would greatly appreciate it. In fact, we'd be ecstatic if you would share what you've experienced with them, with them about us. And here's a new customer offer below. So what you can do is just ask them, hey, simply forward this to your friends and family for the new offer or screen shot it on your phone and send them a text or share it on social media, we would really appreciate you helping us out. Something to that effect. How would you word when you ask for a referral? Well, you're going to want to put that in that email, but the beauty is, is this is automated because people that received the initial email for a review, when they hit the thumbs up, you know they had a good experience, so now you're asking them for a referral as a follow-up two or three days later. Now the people after the first email that hit the thumbs down, you're just going to want to end the automation for them, right? You don't want to email them anymore, they didn't have a good experience. Hopefully they gave you the feedback and you try to improve from there, but there's no more emails to send. The last thing you want to do is ask for referrals from somebody with a bad experience, so that's why that's important. All right, tip number four is this. If nobody clicks anything, which is going to happen right after the first email, they don't click the thumbs up or the thumbs down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to follow up with them another two or three times. So it's a total of three to four emails that you're sending asking for a review. So if they don't click anything, follow up in two or three days and ask for a review again. Hey, I just wanted to remind you we sent this. I know you're busy. If you could just take a few minutes and leave this review, we would greatly appreciate it. And if they still don't do anything after two or three days, do that again. But at any one point along that journey, if they ever hit the thumb up, you're going to want to follow up the next email, obviously not asking for another review, but asking for a referral. If they hit the thumbs down, you're just going to end the journey. That's the way you want to tackle it. Now here's a power tip. Each time you ask for a review, use a different review platform as the thumbs up link. The reason that's important is because the first email is going to get the most engagement. The most excited customers are going to leave you a review after the first time that you ask. So what you're going to want to do there is you're going to want to make sure that the thumbs up links to your most relevant and important review site. Maybe that's Google reviews, for example. Right? The second email, you can use the thumbs up link to link to a different review site. Maybe that's top rated local. And the third one, the thumbs up, can link to another review site, maybe Facebook reviews, as an example. The beauty of that is, is you never have to think about sending people different asks to different review sites, you just diversify your reviews automatically that way and it tears down from the most important review site down to the least over the course of that process. Because a certain percentage of people will click to leave a review on the first, a certain percentage of the second, and a certain percentage of that third or fourth time. And anywhere along the way, if they ever do click the thumbs up, now you also get referrals.
Tip five is just to summarize everything that I went to real quick and briefly for you so it all makes sense. So here's the deal. You want to automate getting reviews and referrals. So you're going to want a, a several part series in terms of emails. At the first email, if they leave a thumbs up, you're going to want to follow up that with asking for a referral and then you're going to end the journey. If they click the thumbs down, you're going to want to send them to a feedback form that asks for additional feedback and you're going to want to end the journey at that point. If they don't click anything, you're going to want to follow up three or four times within a 10 day period. Don't go longer than 10 days. Don't be too fast. Don't send it just the next day, next day, next day. Give it about three days between each ask, right? Do that in a 10 day period. Ask them three to four times. I would recommend three. Four starts to get annoying, right? And at any one point, if they thumbs up, ask for a referral. If they thumbs down, they're out. If they don't do anything after three or four of those requests, the series ends. The beauty of this is it's all automated. If you don't have a way to trigger people to enter into your list from a CRM or something like that, you could simply upload a customer list once a week or once a month to the journey and then it's just automated from there. But if you're using a CRM like Marketing 360 that understands when a lead becomes a customer and things like that, it can actually even automatically put them into the list and run the journey so it's completely automated. Either way is a pretty good process, so definitely take advantage of it to grow your reviews and grow your referrals. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Like it. If you liked it, share it with your friends. And if you have additional comments or ideas around getting more reviews or getting more referrals, please leave it in the comments. We'd love to see it. Thanks for watching and happy marketing.